I was turning down a, you know, my first year in the classroom in order to spend a year observing. And I'm a very action-oriented person, so it had to be good observing. There's nothing else like it that exists. There's nothing else that's in the schools where you're learning and teaching. And I knew that that's how I learn. I, I learn experientially. We're seeing all of these different styles and different environments and gleaning kind of like what we want and what will work and what won't work for us in our own classroom someday. In a way, each school has opened a door to something that I love and each thing was pretty unexpected. I decided to do the Pell program um, after deciding to change careers. I had been a graphic designer, an interior designer, and I just had been missing something. Like every job I had just didn't have some quality that I had hoped an arts job would have. And I sort of realized that it was just this like level of creative contact with other people and being part of a community. And these are things I always associated with doing art and I realized, oh wait, that's because my favorite times making art was in a progressive high school. And I was like, well maybe I want to teach in a progressive high school. It's been amazing how useful I've felt. I think that was my fear going into sort of a teacher training program as opposed to just being a teacher, that I would feel superfluous like an observer in the corner of the classroom and it's really not been like that at all. This program is great because it's just full of people who get that there's something special about the way that we do things. I chose this program because I uh, really felt like it was exactly what I should be doing. I knew that I wanted to be a teacher and I knew that I wanted to teach progressively and um, it really just seemed like the best option um, for a training program. Being in progressive environments and seeing education that really is all coming back to the kids, it just works so much better. And um, I've kind of, through my own teaching, realized that it's always more effective when I bring it back to the kids or when it comes from the kids. It's pretty cool to look back at who I was at CSW in the fall and just think about um, how much I've grown. A big difference that I can see is that like, I have no fear jumping into any class, jumping into any conversation, asking questions. I guess I'm much bolder than I was before. I feel like at Calhoun, more students have an understanding of, of progressive education or sort of Calhoun's version of it, they can articulate it in some way, I think. Occasionally I'll hear a student be like, oh, we do that because whatever. And I know that that's very intentional at Calhoun and that teachers and administrators are working on that and wanting that to be a part of students' experience, that they are a part of making their own educational experience. Specifically at Calhoun, my mentor is Amanda, and she works in the first grade. Um, so we're both kind of working together, but I'm also trying to kind of mimic what she's doing and pay attention to like the way she makes choices and works with the kids. Um, so it's sort of collaborative and mentorship at the same time. I thought it was really neat that Dana had taken the time to walk on the High Line in the city and then she shared a book, The Curious Garden, with my cluster. And some of them kind of knew the books, some of them sort of heard of the High Line, and there was this spark where suddenly they're learning about the High Line, learning what it means, talking about gardens and cities, talking about using space in new ways. And she just really got them excited about their own neighborhood. Hey, this is in, in my backyard. And then she gave them big pieces of paper and they got in, in teams and they drew these amazing gardens in unusual spaces. And it just seemed like the, there was a world of possibilities for them. You know, if, from the get-go, I feel like the Pell Fellows came in and were so excited to be part of an educational environment that they were joining basketball games, they were singing teachers on stage, they were showing who they were and expressing who they were and becoming part of the community. At Calhoun, I worked with the middle school basketball. Um, I was assistant coaching with the 7th 8th grade team and I think we really came together as sort of a small family within the Calhoun family and that really went a long way into making me feel comfortable here and making me feel comfortable in New York City. Sampson has developed a math game that he has uh, you know, taught to a couple of classes. The kids certainly have benefited from that and that they're getting individualized instruction not only from me but from somebody else. 
And then as a community, I think that uh, you know, it's helping Calhoun to grow. Our, our name is getting out there a little bit more. We've partnered with uh, three other schools. For me, this Pell program has certainly reinvigorated my desire to, to be the best at what it is that I do. It's not too long ago I was in their shoes. I'm very jealous of this experience that they're having. I, I learned how to be a teacher in a college classroom. And it wasn't really until I got a teaching job that I figure out that there was a lot that I still had to learn. It's really difficult to teach how to teach. Um, and I think it just takes, it takes years to become a master teacher. But even a master teacher can always improve. We as teachers, the mentors, are actually connecting with other teachers. We become you know, a group, a cohesive group, and in that way we discuss, well, what are, you, what are you teaching? What are you learning? Like, what can I add to my classroom? I think whenever you're in a situation where you can bring people from the outside, you know, and in this case, these wonderful Pell Fellows, and have them take a, a good look at us, again, in, in a, in a well-informed way, it's only going to make us stronger as teachers, as administrators, and as a community. And since they've been here, I think it's been incredibly beneficial because I think it's given us a, a whole different lens with which to look at our own work, you know, because anytime you're engaged in trying to teach other people about anything, and in this case, how to be a progressive teacher, it gives you an opportunity to look at your own work more critically and, and, and just in a better way. So I think it's been really, really helpful to us. One of the purposes of the program is part of our broad public purpose as a progressive institution, which is to have an impact on education outside of our own walls. Uh, we do that in ways other than Pell, but this is a particularly good way. It's sort of like being the uh, incubator in which we create the apple seeds that Johnny Appleseed will take around the world, planting little progressive nuggets in various schools and watching them flower so that there will be more good, sane, progressive practices in a variety of schools.